I have a brilliant Bitcoin technical analysis lined up for you today in this video because we are going to be jumping into the lower term time frame order flow where we can actually see millions upon millions of new short trades opening. Take a look at this candle minus negative delta of 19 million open interest increases. We then see the positive 5.3 million open interest increase followed by another negative 4.1 million negative delta, right? With open interest increases. This shows us that right now we are getting a lot of new short trades opening. You know, we're talking about several millions of new shorts trades opening here. I'm going to be explaining to you what this means. Are we actually lining ourselves up for another squeeze? Or is this very bearish? You need to be prepared for a large move to the downsides and what could be seen below $50,000 to come next. I'm going to be lining you up in this video for everything that you need to know. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you have a big smile on your face with the positivity that I will bring, but also most importantly, right, that you learn, educate yourself and prepare for that profit is to come off of this big move. So let's go straight into it together here. And I'm going to be picking up where I left off my last video, which was actually over a week ago. I said, I said of that video, I'm not going to be doing so much YouTube videos. And one week ago, I gave you this video where the target was really simply massive important level of do we get the reclaim or do we get the rejection at $67,000. Placed so much emphasis on that. At the time, of course, I was in no short trades and I was looking for continuation higher until 67K and that was decision time. What goes on there? I mean, we can see clear as day it was a rejection that is what we were waiting for to see to take out that lower high, hit that liquidity level, take on that range point of control, a massive level, and really simply see that rejection. That was the plan that I laid out to you. That was the massive important level that I said would be the decision maker. And we can see clear as day how we came into that all important level and they did very nice rejection candles and then a large move to the downside followed. Of course, I laid out my plan. I traded that plan. I was waiting patiently for $67,000 for over a week. We hit the range point of control. We ended in a very clear rejection. And of course, I took that short trade. I updated, of course, <laughs> the champion members first and foremost. But then I also let you know all on Twitter, right? I had that plan of $67,000. I've been waiting patiently. I have now taken that short trade and I will remain patient for lower. You actually had a few days here, the 22nd, the 23rd, the 24th, a few, you know, pr pretty simple stuff uh, <laughs> to get into that short trade. It wasn't hard, uh, but very nice rejection, 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 bit of a triangle, broke to the downside. You can got a back test on the lower term time frame. And then from there, it's a simple case of once again, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, liquidity grab, once again, a lower low. Okay, so not too much um, difficulty around this in terms of what happens. We rise, reject from the range point of control, take out that liquidity, very clear rejection candles. You've got to remain patient looking for lower next. And that is what we have done for the past week. So that brings us up to speed very nicely. Okay. I personally have not taken any longs either over the past week. I've just been <laughs> remaining patiently in the short trade. And that is because I'm waiting for a nice high probability trade setup. And now with these new short trades opening, I want to be explaining what we need, need to be aware of next. So you might think the first thing that comes to your brain, okay, might be that, okay, a lot of shorts opening here. Uh, we're at a support zone, so to speak. We have that CCV target. We are at the um, lower value area low. So when you take a new fixed range of more low, so we can come down to the hourly chart. You take more local price action, right? Uh, da -da -da -da. <laughs> with the fixed range tool. When you take this, you can see we're around that value area low, taking out previous day low, okay? So you might be thinking to yourself, okay, this is potentially very bullish. We're seeing a lot of shorts opening at some more intraday support. Isn't this lining up for a massive short squeeze, Daniel? I would say that that is a potential, yes. But you need to start to see some reclaims, right? If you are coming down, and price is going down, and you are seeing open interest increases with high negative delta, which you are seeing, that is black and white bearish, okay? Really simply, downtrending, open interest increasing, high negative delta, that is bearish, okay? That is bearish. It is only if we, if we, if 
we get a reclaim and some form of sign of strength, that is where we would then have the trapped shorts at the low of support, and we could look for a reversal to the upside. It's just a very dangerous game to start too long at the low of the move when you are seeing this type of order flow. Okay, of course, could it pay off? Yes, but without seeing any form of a reclaim, you are longing right now into what is classed as very big weakness. Again, could it pay off? Yes, but you know, longing below previous day value area low, longing, longing below even previous day low with this type of order flow, it's just a dangerous game to play, okay? And we're not in here for gambling. We're not in here for the dangerous game. Let's just wait for the high probability trade setups. They sometimes take a week to come to fruition, but they come to fruition. We get the trades. We get the profits. That's what you're here for is profits, right? You're not here to gamble on low probability trade setups. If you want to do that, oh, there's a million and one gambling channels out there for crypto, right? We're here to follow the analysis, follow the high probability trade setups ups, look at the order flow, understand where the market is likely to go next and react from the data that we're given. Okay. It's not so much about predicting per se. It's about reacting to the data when we hit those all important levels. We knew the all important level was the range point of control. Well, look at this. The data clearly on the charts is ending in rejection candles. That's a short trade. We now come back down to what is an intraday support currently below previous day low, currently below previous day value area low. With the open interest increases with high negative delta, one has to say the probability is higher of downside from here. If we go on and we start to reclaim some levels, let's say at the very, very, very least, I would want to be seeing a point of control locally here reclaimed. That's then back into the value area low plus the point of control at the very least is where I would then start to say we can look for a continued rise to the upside. But while we are below such important reference levels, while there is no reclaim, I do have to be looking back down towards fifty-nine dollars to $58,000. That of course is the overall range low. Okay. That is where there is undeniably a lot of liquidity. And I just would say caution to the winds, okay? Um, you know, I, I, I take, of course, what I do very seriously, and I and I do understand the um, influence that I have, you know, potentially on some people, and I, and I do not want to um, take that for granted or, or, or abuse this in any way. I want to really make you aware of these scenarios, okay? And, and I, I do have to, you know, sometimes think that not everybody watching these videos has studied all the material that understands the theory and and doesn't understand that probabilities change. So I absolutely right now I'm saying, you know, I am in short trades. I am absolutely happy if we get a lower drop. But, you know, I am understanding that there is a potential short squeeze underway or, or, or could be, right, if we start to get some reclaims. So please understand that the charts change and probabilities are updating on every single second of the day. 24-7 market, right? <laughs> Seven days a week, crypto is always changing. So we can only go off of the data that we have live in the time. And I'm looking at this data for you and I'm understanding that this is a bearish sign. Open interest increasing, negative delta, losing important support levels. Okay, that is bearish. If the market makers want to come in here and start a bit of a squeeze. They start to get some reclaims going on in here. We then have to update our probabilities and understand our bias needs to be changing with that too. We then can say, okay, we have now seen a reclaim. We have now seen some sign of strength. I am no longer looking for $58,000, but I can be looking for a rise, let's say to $64,000, for example. The same, just as the same would have been off of this level, okay, at the range point of control. If instead of seeing a rejection at our all important level, we had seen closes above and we started to reclaim this as support, you know, I would have had to have closed that short trade and started to look for higher towards $69,000, right? I'm a trader that trades the charts. I, I set out my plans, I trade the reactions. If this had been a reclaim, well, of course, I wouldn't have took the short. But when we get clear as day reactions in the chart, we take the trades. And now, in my opinion, over the past week, it's a simple case of remaining patient. There has not been a single, well, in my opinion, there have not been really any good long trades here. But highest probability is lower, thus I remain patient for lower 
you could say long and long and chill, short and chill, whatever you want to. I don't really care. All I'm saying is the probabilities I'm trading right now make me believe we're going lower in the chart. If we start to see a reclaim, if we start to see some strength, I will update that. But unless that happens, I really believe that we'll be heading down towards the range low next, which again is a very important case. Just like we were looking at the rejection off of the range point of control for the short trade, we can look for the reaction at range low for a long trade, right? If this comes down and forms a bullish reaction, then of course we can lock in a long trade. But just as if we had, instead of rejecting here for the short, we had actually reclaimed and held as support, we could have looked for higher. The same here. If we do not get a bullish reaction at range low, but instead we actually make our way down to the low, get some flips into resistance, then we can absolutely look for that continuation down to around just below 40, um, you know, around 49-ish thousand dollars, right? Over the lows of the, um, you know, middle of Feb. So for me, it's, a, it's just a, such a key way of trading, okay? We have our plans. We then have to remain patient when we do not have high probability trade setups. Again, you can try and force some setups. You can try and gamble some long trades here. But, and again, I, I, wanted to, I actually want to reframe that word. If you do have on the very low term time frame here an entry trigger for a long and you have a plan set up here and you can say, Daniel, I'm taking this long for this reason. This is my invalidation. This is my take profit one. This is how I'm, you know, this is my reasons for taking this long trade. I would say absolutely follow your plan. Do it. You know, you, you don't be influenced by me just because I'm looking for lower here doesn't mean I'm saying there's no long trades at all. And if you have a good plan, you should trade your plan, right? OK, at the end of the day, that's the only way you're going to improve. My my aim here and my goal is to help you improve as a trader. It's not to give signals. It's not to tell you what to do. It's give you to give you some insights, some education. Maybe you can use this as confluence, right? But I'm not giving any financial advice here. I'm just giving really simply my opinions on the market. And from my opinion, from the data that I am viewing and how I interpretate this, it's, well, this is bearish. Get the reclaim. I will update that opinion. Okay. It's as simple as that. Um, I actually have something very important to my heart that I'd like to talk about now. Um, and, and I would just generally like to read in the comments of how much interest this is to the people uh, watching this yourself. <laughs> so you could let me know. But it's actually something that has happened in my life that is, of course, a very massive uh, and important to myself. But I do feel that it's like almost the very positive to speak about this, even though it's obviously a little bit shy to bond. But, you know, really simply, let me just go through it. I, I had a very, very big ego. You know, a lot of people you always used to say I had too big of an ego. And I can agree, okay? I was very focused on money. Now, yeah, that was, what, you know, uh, we are in a traders, but I'm very, very focused on money. And I, of course, love the attention that come with winning. You know, I was very competitive. And I'm not saying that's changed, right? I'm still a, still a competitive person, but I just love that glory feel. And I think it, it sometimes really got the better of me and, and showed, a, you know, an, an ugly side of my personality. And I can say, uh, and again, this is a story that we're talking about a few people in the world know, very, very small amount of people know, but I had very hard 2023. Uh, I went through a lot of struggles, hard times, um, and, you know, I, I found God, and that helped me greatly. You know, for the first time in a long time, I had peace, and I really feel that this changed my life completely. I feel I was reborn as a person, and, you know, in, in what I feel is there's a lot of dark us in the world right now we see wars we see you know what i was referring to in this post like people idolizing people such as tate you know this guy every day i just see a post you know i don't know why but for some reason on, on timelines just just I, I see a lot of darkness coming from certain people and it's like they're always trying to be little people someone has to flip the burgers like i mean this, this is not in my opinion the way to be living again people can do whatever they want i can only try and bring some you know, um, maybe try and do God, you know, I don't know my purpose right now. I'm still something I'm working on. Right. But all I'm trying to bring is some, uh, understanding to this that I, I personally feel that this like kind of alpha mentality that people are talking about, it's, it's a pretty disrespectful and sad way to live your life. We're all from different walks of life and in our own stage with our own battles. You know, you can choose love and compassion, be humble, lose the ego. This is something that I have had to go through myself. And I can honestly say that 
I feel a much better person out of it. I feel much more enlightened. I feel much more at peace. Okay, not having to worry about what these people are doing, what these people are saying, but just focused on myself, you know, it, it, it really releases a lot of weight off your shoulders. And it's it's a hard thing, right? Because we're, we're in trading, the focus, of course, is money. It's a very competitive environment. People are always trying to, uh, you know, especially in crypto people, there's a lot of toxic, toxic people here. It's a, a pretty strange place, a very, very strange place at times. Um, and for, for me, honestly, I can just say this, and I, and I don't want to go on too long. I'm trying to try and wrap this up now, but I am genuinely interested of what you are interested in type of content. Of course, I'm not going to stop doing trading <laughs> and I'm going to continue with Chart Champions and, you know, that nothing's changing, right? But whether I add in an addition, would you like, for example, be interested in my story of how I found God? Um, I, I personally feel, and the people that I've told, right, they say it's a very powerful story and... Uh, I, I do feel like I have a calling of trying to spread the word. Um, but I am nevertheless still interested to know whether where, how how you would feel about, about this. Um, so yeah, just leave a comment down below. Uh, I, I'm generally going to read every single comment that I get. For me, this is something that's very important to my life. I do feel I've completely changed as a person. And I read some of the comments and people can start to see that, you know, it's... Uh, you know, a lot of people say that it, I changed for the good, and I, <laughs> of course, uh, hope hope that comes across in, in in my way I act, the way I treat people, the way um, you know I just present myself. Uh, I, I hope that you can see some of these changes over the past uh, few months. And uh, you know, for me, it's an ongoing thing. You know, I want always going to try and improve myself, just like try and improve myself on the charts. I now have a uh, you know some personal things to try and improve too. And uh, you know, I just wish you all a very positive, happy day. Um, you know, I'm not here to preach. I'm just here to spread some positivity, some education, give you my thoughts on the charts. And, um, yeah, now I, I, I truly do feel enlightened. I feel, feel I've had uh, a lot of hard and dark times and, you know, I found peace and happiness. And if I can try and like share that and maybe open up uh, some eyes as well, then, then that, that is, uh, an even bigger mission of myself that I can, I, I can complete. So yeah, I hope that you have a wonderful day. Uh, if you want to see more of me, you know where I am every single day on the charts, giving my analysis, giving my updates in the Discord. You can get all that via the platform chartchampions.com. This is where I'm always going to be updating, giving the analysis first, giving my trade updates first. When I took that short trade, why I've been waiting, remain patiently for lower now. And it's a simple case of, yeah, trade the charts. And yeah, let's see if we get the reclaim. I will, of course, update that bias. I can start to look for higher. But while we're below previous day low, below previous day value area low too, with these shorts opening as they are, I got to understand that this at the moment is weakness. Get the reclaims. Things change. We can start to look for a squeeze. You know, I'm not opening any short trades here. <laughs> um, I am aware of that squeeze scenario. I've got my shorts from higher. I'll remain patient. Let's see how the data comes over the next 24 hours as we got the monthly close. This is, of course, going to be absolutely pivotal. Where that monthly closes is going to be very important indeed. So let's see how we get that monthly close. If you want to see the first opinion, I'll update you via chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. And that is me signing out. Thank you. Have a good day and goodbye. Cheers.